Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. A question about the arts and the craft. If you didn't know, then it's good that you asked. You tune into the culture. Just a rule of thirds if you want to. You could tune at work, yeah. You tell me, does that frame fit good? Does it feel right? You want to steal a photo for your website. But you want a logo we can design, right? Yeah. Can designers really make a solid income? What is the future of award shows such as the Guap Gala and more? And how can we ensure values are preserved or communicated as an organisation? Enjoy. One, two. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Huh? You had to ruin it. No. Are we not? Let's play 21. No. Let's play 21 then. Yeah. It's five, six, seven. Now ask you a question. Whoever, whoever, whoever... Loses, we get to ask a question. This is fine. Right, cool. Yeah, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten. So Twelve. Four, three oh, wait, numbers. Eight, nine, Hello. Right, let's, start, let's start again. Let's start again. Juice, oh. start. Oh, is it maximum three numbers? Yeah. Damn, I ain't played this. Yeah, Juice, start. Uh, no. All right, one, two. Three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh! You're trying to get me. Oh! <laughs> You're cheeky. You're actually Imagine. cheeky for that. Uh, you had that as well. Yeah, you know what you did? You could have just said two or three numbers. Are you, are you uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to see if somebody wants to bless me, but clearly not. Wow. Anyway. Well, we have to ask him a question. Yeah, ask him a question. Um, no, how, 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 <laughs> I was like, I'm leaving it to you. No, no, okay, fine. I'll leave it to Michael then. No, I'm boring. You ask. Go on. Oh, no, I was just going to ask you how your week was. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Yes. I was trying to be nice. Ooh, <laughs> tomato, <go>. tomato. <laughs> My week has been eventful. I've mm. um, done a lot of stuff. Um, been teaching some workshops, which has been nice. Love that. Um, getting to my teaching back, which has been cool. Um, I actually like teaching and it's with youth so it's it's been cool mm. um, it's, it's nice seeing young kids wanting to know more about design mm. especially black kids because yeah. often times you know we don't get the opportunity to do that um, it never was really explored as a kid True. Um, so yeah and my church imprinted a musical on Saturday yeah it's cool you you acted in that didn't you did a little yeah a little extras role what did you so, act yeah. as uh, I was a bartender and a drug dealer it's a lot of stereotypes, but I respect is it. Is that I true know. to life? Or <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the bartender part, definitely, yeah. But I don't know. I can't lie. Do you partake in split? No, I, I've never had. Do you partake in split? Do you know how funny that is? Do you partake in split? Now you're definitely undercover cop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hey, um, undercover cop. Young, young, so you know. <laughs> young man, do you partake in split, <laughs> bro? Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Nah, the, hey, brother. The, the stereotype of like an uh, undercover fit is so funny, though. <laughs> like, hey, gang them. <laughs> how is it going? How, how is it going? Yeah. <laughs> how is it going? How is it going? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever you got, got the stuff? <laughs> have you got the stuff? In it. Was, oh, was it in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, other than that. Um, oh, I got Doc Martens. Now. I was literally about to say, didn't you get like some stompers? Yeah, I got some Doc Martens mm. now, so I'm I'm really a crave. East boy, Burns yeah. is now a worldwide stepper. Yeah, worldwide stepper, <sighs> demon chef. Oh, okay. Come whoa, on. whoa, hey. oh, hey, that was cool, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah no, I like that. So like a, a bartender, like drug dealer, like, and, <laughs> and the rapper for Christ. <laughs> what else? You play basketball? Like, what's going on here? No, 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 no. Uh, but it sounds like you had a week. For week, real, I had, I had a week, man. Mm-hmm. It was a good week, but um, I'm trying to maintain some good sleep levels because I feel like I've just been mm. too active. Oh, like sleep? Yeah, I, mm. like I was telling Mac um, earlier that I just, I don't know, it's weird. I've got this mindset that I don't, maybe it's a formal thing, but like I feel like I always got to be active. Right. I hear that. 
And for me, it's like I just enjoy just being up. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like sleeping. I like sleeping because it's therapeutic. And you, you, you need Wait, <laughs> <for rest>. <laughs> <laughs> I like sleeping because it's therapeutic. No, no, no. no I, it's uh, no, I need I for rest. I need for rest. <laughs> like you enjoy it. I enjoy, when you're sleeping, you enjoy. Ooh, yeah, it. that was very therapeutic. <laughs> no, it is though. When you wake up in the morning, oh. you feel, <laughs> you feel all, all over the place. No, really. No, I, I like I like waking up in the morning. It's like because I've got um, an alarm. Obviously, the sonos mm. thing. But it plays music at like eighty percent volume. Eighty. Oh, yeah, wow! So it's that's, really loud. Is that not a chaotic start to the day? It's, yeah, cha- like, it's chaotic, but obviously, once you've turned it off, it's like ah. Oh. Mm. And then yeah. What music are you playing though? Um, I actually play Premier Gospel. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. That's yeah, tough. so it, they, I don't it's know what's that playing. So rock and roll or something. It's a radio thing. You've got Doc Martens now, so you have to switch out the music. You know what I'm saying? Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. But um, <laughs> nah, I can't play like lo-fi or like quiet music. Well, and obviously, Premier Gospel are playing some like. Crazy praise song, so it's yeah. probably gonna wake mm. me up, innit? So, yup, that's wavy. How you lots week then, mm. Jude? Ah, are you throwing to me? <clears throat> How's your week? I'm just asking. My week, my week has been calm. Oh, that's good. Wait, hold on. Uh, um, oh. I'm trying to think of how the week has actually gone. God, hey, what happened? Don't give us a I'm fine. You know when you're friends. No, 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 no. Okay, I mean, okay. Last week I went to see uh, Hiatus Coyote. Oh, how's that? That was really good. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um. So that that was that, but I think after that it was just kind of like, I don't know, my social battery just kind of it got drained, You're and right. I I wasn't even socializing that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, other than that, studio stuff, making music, working. Um, I just finished off a campaign, which which was hey, yeah nice. a very long, <laughs> stressful one, but mm. that was good. So yeah, just been working really. Like I think right now is my brain is just work, sleep, work, sleep. I am enjoying it, which is strange yeah before i would okay. kind of like oh i need my free time i want to do this it's like but yeah right now i i'm i i want to work that's good so yeah it's been a good week i can't good. complain what about you i've been good mm, that's a lie i've been, all, <laughs> hey, I've been, oh, wow. been good but like mixture of like what's been very like hectic mm. for the past two weeks um was working on a magazine that's finished now Ooh. thank god Tango, Tango. um it was funny enough for those that don't know um because i've told these guys but i haven't told Anyways, for, um, agency I used to work for, we have a network for, you know, the black and browns. So for Black History Month, we've got a special edition of this magazine that we started. So yeah, just doing the design work for that. Come on. I'm it looks amazing. Yeah, thanks, yes. thanks. It looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think everyone is happy with it. It looks really good. Mm. And as black people, we like to show out, you know. Yeah. Mm. Um. Hopefully, yeah, within, I mean, I don't work there anymore, but hopefully internally, like it gets the support and yeah, like reception yeah. and stuff. I think there's been some like good initial like um feedback from like some C level execs, which is good. That's good. Mm. Um but yeah, so it's nice to know hard work has paid off. Yeah. Um mm. but yeah, that's been my past two weeks. I have ordered so much food, I have barely cooked. Hey. And my sleeping hours was literally from like three till five or like yeah. all nighters and stuff. So three yeah. to five. It wasn't looking good. I there was a mixture it's of like overthinking mind. a lot That's of stuff, yeah. which led things to be pushed. But then also everybody else still needed stuff that they needed to finish. Right, so right, I right. couldn't really do much until they were done. I got the content, and then when I had the content, I was like, "Oh, how do you actually like put this in the space that I thought it would?" Work? Was it more than you expected? Or oh, hundred percent. Okay. Bear in mind, like initially, I was like, "Yeah, four days, huh? like a full." <laughs> Wait, how many pages did it come up to? Seventy. We always, we always underestimate these things, you know. That's, yeah, that's and I think you know when you have an initial idea of how you want things to be, and then when you're actually in it, it's like, like okay, uh, is it like flowing the way you need it to realistic? flow? It needs to be reworked. Yeah, and like obviously we're like designers, so we want to make sure we're putting our best work out there. Of course, of course, yeah. of course, of course. Had to redo it, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. and it's a new working week, so the yep. grind continues. Can't stop, won't stop. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. um, speaking of paying off, mm-hmm. something that. Burns, I think it was Burns or Michael. It might be Michael, actually. He brought up, like, a good question in the chat we were talking this week. And mm-hmm. then we spoke about, is is there money in graphic design? Oh. Before before we go into that, hey. um, Noaka actually won, though. Oh, yeah. Congrats to Noaka. Yeah, I was going to go into that. Gonna go into that. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Well Shout deserved. out. The only, the only... The only deserved winner yeah, the only on that list. Winner. I mean, I will personally say... On the photographer's list? Okay, I don't know about okay. it. Other categories, people that won certain categories, I'm really happy with. Yeah. So, like, Shaq um, used to do uh, this 
thing called PAQ before it went left. Oh, um, snap. I I like his artwork, so I was like, okay, Fair that's enough. great. Um, The Cultural Hero, Quadro Housing. Oh, that yeah. Guy, won an yeah. award, which is really good. What was the name of the award he won? Cultural. I want to say Cultural Hero. Okay. I okay. think. Um, Nife won the dancer. Okay. One and she's like, Nif- done, is she one with the blue hair? Blue hair. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's like done a lot of stuff. Cold, so like, yeah. I thought that was like that made sense. Yeah, yeah, there was a, you know, a, a lot of a lot of winners. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, this is why I didn't want to go to this tangent. I do. It's, it's already no, no, no. Now we're gonna go back into okay. 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 Yeah, so so money. Yeah, the money. Yeah, 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 yeah cash yeah. monies. But yeah, so yeah, the question was: is is there money in graphic design? Okay. Yes, there is, but maybe not in the earlier stages. Hmm. I feel like you need to build the reputation and a certain level of connections before mm. you can... Yeah, you said that with very <laughs> love <enough> emphasis. <laughs> connections. Before you can actually make... Like, Do you think like, the money that... Because is money actually well, from the design? It, mm, the thing is, I feel like because there's so many different avenues within a design career. Yeah. Okay. If you're going through like the quote-unquote traditional and working in a company Mm -hmm. as a designer then there is money in it Mm -hmm. but then again i guess it comes to the thing of how much is enough money for other people because i I think now we're in a day and age where because we have access to so much information and look into so many other people's lives Mm -hmm. and their lifestyles we may not be thinking we're doing enough Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. the other person next to us has a house, has a Gucci bag, yeah. has an LV this, so has puts that AP pressure on. watch. Mm. So you're obviously like comparing or you're yeah. spending 8K on drinks. <laughs> um, yeah, that was dumb. I can't lie. Very, yeah. very yeah. interesting behavior. But like, yeah, like I think because of stuff like that, like even today there was a um, conversation about, oh, should someone in the early 20s go on a vacation and like should people feel pressured to have to go on a vacation at that mm. age what how much money are you really earning if you can afford age? it if you can afford it then yeah but i think it just speaks to the wider issue of maybe because we just there's so much stuff out there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so many people putting their lives out there we kind of maybe lose track of where we should be or what our journey is they, yeah. call, it, they call it homogenization yeah right yeah. So basically, so homo is in like same organization. So it's like the process of us becoming the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm. okay. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, we're literally in this place where it's like, we see these things. So you talk about vacation. Mm, mm. So you talk about things about oh, getting a house or getting this certain luxury item. And it seems like we all have to have that. Yeah. So if we're not having that, we have to make more money, yeah. man. Yeah. But really and truly, a lot of us actually are on, not on the best income. But it's but not the worst. It's not the worst. It's, not the worst it's probably worse all. because of our economy. That right. part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Not, not because yeah. of what we're earning. Yeah, what we're yeah. earning is very good. It's not an us problem. It's not us more problem. The it's more how the society, society works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's pressure now because now when you go on places like Twitter, for example, yeah. everyone's earning 100k minimum. That's what they say, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. That's what they say. No, no, no. no, 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 no what's mine like, is even down the, to the analytics. I remember once I checked and mm-hmm. it was like the average earning of everyone here is 100. I said, huh? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know that's a lie, Your Honor. Fam, there's no way. Big fat lie. If everybody was, if people you were earning 100k, you, you're not, like half of them will not be on Twitter. It, 100%. What are you even doing there? Yeah. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But anyway, yeah. if they're making it, then hey, shout out yeah. to them, innit? But yeah, I think you can make money in design. Yeah. But there's different avenues. It depends on what your own goals and targets are. But in terms yeah. of being comfortable, you can, like mm. 100%. It may not be as much in comparison to other careers, especially starting off. Because mm-hmm. a lot of like starting salaries for design, if you're working in an agency, yeah. in a publishing house, if you're like a book designer or like whatever it may be, it's roughly around like 20 to 25, yeah. Yeah. I'd say. And yeah. people even get less than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially if you live outside of London yeah. as well. So it might even be 18, yeah. which so 18 is... To 25 that, is I think that is criminal. Bad. Very bad. Which it's is terrible bad, in my yeah. opinion. Very, very bad. But can yeah. you just about manage... Possibly. It may not be easy. And if you're not living in London, then possibly, yeah. Because yeah. I remember when I was living in Leicester, I mean, not as much, but mm. the cost of living is definitely... Obviously, it's still going to be expensive. It's the but UK. It is cheaper. Mm. But you can get around easier. 100%. You're not really spending money on TFL and really? all these different things. You know? Times when rent in Sheffield... Oh, like rent. Went to uni. Oh, rent. Mm-hmm. God have mercy. I know, like, I remember there was a year that I think I paid, like, 300 a month yeah. for mm-hmm. rent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My yeah. friend got a studio. It wasn't even a studio. One bed. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, like, 600 yeah. Because if you, like, I'm trying to break it down. Okay, so if you say 18K per mm-hmm. annum, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. If you break that down like by 12. Three? 
Yeah. Because you, you won't get taxed. Right. Exactly. So are you under the threshold? Mm. Yeah. How? 18k? I'm pretty yeah. sure with you, with your allowances like 20... and stuff. I think you get a personal allowance of 12,500. Yeah. And, and then, then anything above that is you get taxed. I think. I'm trying to remember there's something to do with um what do you call that? Cuz my call friend cuz I remember when I got I got my first job and I was getting paid 20k. Mm -hmm. My friend was getting 18 but it would amount to this we get the same amount roughly. At yeah, the I can't lie. With the uh, <laughs> I saw something I did when I in the industry like some of you are in 25, some of you are in 28. It's probably the same amount. The which yeah. is yeah. because of the yeah. tax. Yeah. 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 And then whatever, um, what do you call those things? Benefits. Yeah. And like all of these other it things, or like yeah. your retire or pension plan and that kind of thing. Like, yeah. Because if you're, okay, let's different say, that much. let's say even if you're earning 1,002, mm -hmm. mm. like 1,002 a month, and then you're, Let's say okay, you don't live in London. You live mm. in let's say let's yeah. If you lived outside, you can't London, live. You then. can't live in London. In London with one thousand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. But but like deeper. Because <laughs> <right, Sam. laughs> <laughs> if you're spending, if you're spending, let's say two hundred pounds, <laughs> you're spending two hundred pounds on um on utilities mm. a month. Is that is that reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> you're still thinking about the rice and bees. <laughs> but even just like uh, transport alone. Yeah. That that's, yeah. Transport was what? like 200, 200 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So 200 pounds on transport. Yeah. 200 pounds on like um, utilities. Food. And food. So that's no, six, no, no. 600. 600. No, six, mm, food's probably more. If you're, yeah. if you're eating out as well. That's yeah. that always. And like, eating yeah, out and social entertainment. Lifestyle. Yeah. 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 That's what I took the pee. Okay. So what? That's what? 400. Yeah. So 400, 200, so 800 pounds. And you have to mm. save money as well. So let's, say, let's, 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 yeah, let's forget about the Let's forget about the saving so right in now. The circle. But then obviously there's rent. We haven't mentioned rent. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't, we haven't mentioned forgot. rent. And we haven't mentioned bills, like no, phone no, bills, your internet bills. Mom and dad, like, yeah. or mom or dad. Like, yeah. No, you, you, uh, can't, you actually can't live by yourself. Mm-mm. Cause like, like in, especially in London, you can't. Cause it's Wi Fi. It's expensive. You used to pay for Wi Fi month. You used to pay your phone bill a month. It's a scam. And then what? What else? I'm pretty sure there's other costs. If if you're living in the house, then you have to pay what council tax. To be fair, it might be yeah. all inclusive. If it's all inclusive, then I guess that makes sense, especially if it's out no, outside. I, I mm. actually might need to be all inclusive because huh, yeah. all of those individual bills. That's so what is because the thing is like I think a lot of people always get worried about graphic design being a variable like career, mm. right? As opposed no, to. But it, I mean, now it, I think we can see it definitely is. Hundred percent. Yeah. If we look at the world around us, like which and, graphic yeah. designer is just a graphic designer though? There's no. I don't the, think there's graphic mm, designers anymore though. What do you in, mean? Oh, like, in just it, solely graphic so, design. No, I don't I, think. I think okay. that's a, is a, okay. is a, is a dying dying role. I feel like, like it's an emerging yeah. role. I suppose to die. Yeah, so, yes. like it's evolving. If, it, sorry, it's evolving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, if you're working in the industry, you need to have some level of print design. Yep. No, print and we'll digital motion. So yeah, even that. Stuff. So yeah. before it used to just be print mm -hmm. or digital. Mm. Now it's you have to know both. Yeah. Which is so and cheeky. Then it goes. It is very cheeky. Because they're not they're paying, paying people you. don't have those skills. Yeah. They really don't. So then. And, but then they'll be asking people and expecting people to have. I've, I've realized this like recently. Like, yeah. wow, you guys don't know how to animate. That's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, and like. Wow, you might you actually need me to come in to animate this for you. Mm. That's my <laughs> wait. I'm sorry, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, no, 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 like they're on like what seventy k, eighty k, and they don't even know how to open Photoshop. Ah, but they've got the ideas Simple. though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but it's but it's wild because then yeah, for us wild. in our early years of like navigating the industry, mm -hmm. we're expected to know and have so much to offer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, we're probably the most in terms of skills there's a lot more things that we know how to do in comparison to maybe one person that has a singular very strong skill yeah and stuff like the whole like jack of all trades where that, 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 that yeah. is us doing the story but it's because we've had to learn all of that mm. do you know what i mean i think actually if you want to yeah uh, maybe there's not money as a sole graphic designer mm. I, I think there is if, i feel like they specialize is, in a certain but way it depends on because isn't I feel, that like I feel the like there's levels top, to top, top, because top. Yeah. no, but even if like for your first job, yeah, I honestly feel like maybe it's because people's entry points and the type of the design that they do, mm -hmm. that's maybe why it isn't as um lucrative, lucrative. Mm. Or like, because for a lot of us, like when we started, we didn't, we either didn't know about design or the type of jobs that we worked on mm -hmm. were like, oh, quick like logo for a hair company or like <laughs> those kind of jobs. So I yeah, think maybe if your backs. entry point is that. Then it might you may not see it as like a reality, but right. if you're working 
maybe yeah. I'm saying this more because it's a, of an in-house thing. I do feel like yeah, may not be like the most like wow I'm balling. Mm-hmm. I feel like you might be just okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then maybe in like a year or two or like when you get become like a midweight, then you know you can you can be okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. It's just I I think it always becomes a thing of like if if graphic design on its own can't give you mm. the money or as I guess the the freedom of like you don't have to think about oh my god I, I have to pay rent this month da, da, right, da. I right. might have to get a side job I might have to get a side hustle so on and so forth if you can't do that then is there a point in pushing people into that role why not change because like right now if you go to universities they're still offering graphic design I, I can't lie at this stage I think you should be learning more than just graphic design do you know what I'm saying mm. but what is that well, yeah. like what is that I was no. gonna I was gonna say though like if we think about the people that we know yeah. that have like studied design mm-hmm. yeah. but maybe the comparison is different because like they're all very good at design so mm-hmm. like the level of skill they have means that like if I think of Eugene for example mm-hmm. or, like Marissa mm-hmm. like they both went to university to study yeah. Yeah. and the level of their work is incredible. Yeah. And that led them to get in certain opportunities where when it came into them getting their first jobs, I'm sure they were able to be like, yeah, I have a lot to offer. Yeah. Know, rather yeah. than just, you know, a simple edgy thing. So maybe, hmm. But Cause, not, cause ev- not that, everybody will, I don't know. Because, you know, when they get into the, these roles, mm. obviously with every company, like I'm pretty sure we can just pick it out of a hat. Every company will ask you, Oh, do you know how to do this as well? Mm, yeah, or do you know yeah. how to do or oh, this will be an addition if you know how to do this and that and that. And obviously yeah. that becomes a thing where if you go even through the hiring process, people are like, Oh, cause this person has maybe a bit of knowledge on let's say Figma or After Effects. Right. That is an edge over someone else. Who, 100%, 100% is. Do you know what I'm saying? But the thing is that the role is specifically for graphic design. Yeah. But because someone has that extra, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, it's a tactic though, because obviously yeah. they can get more. Fam, it's not just, mm, like, it's that's not just a scam. Yeah. Because it's like, it doesn't make any sense if you're hiring it specifically for a role and yeah. someone has come with that expertise, but you're saying that if you have the extra, then yeah. we'd rather pick you. Obviously, it makes sense from a business standpoint. Of course, standpoint. it makes sense. But that's, that's yeah. why I always say, as creatives, as designers, learn as much as possible with different softwares because for me that's helped me in where I am now it's helped mm. me to be mm. ahead of the game do you get what I mean is that fair that, I guess that's what it all comes down to I yeah. mean it's not it's not fair but Damn. all my all my colleagues I believe have gone to an art school or some sort mm-hmm. I have not so mm. okay so you're seeing it as an like it makes sense from, from where you're standing I've had to I've right, had to right, right, do right, you know what I mean because yeah, for me it's yeah. like I've actually got to prove myself even much more right that's why I've learned so much. So you're the you're the problem, is what you're saying. But at the same time, <laughs> you know, but at the same time, like because we don't come from that background, it's almost mm-hmm. like you ha- you have to go above and beyond to just like just, yeah, s- just get yourself in oh, the room. And then I, when, what, I feel like once you're in days, the room, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but like ah, oh god, ah, those to, days, get, to, get to get in, in it's crazy. Like, yo. It's hard. Like, I know I'm capable, but because I just don't have certain, like, credentials right, to right. my CV... Then you can't really... They'll be like, yeah. oh, I know there's people that have gone to university that have studied this, so I, I believe more in them. Yeah. But I feel like it's the completely opposite. Like, the complete mm. opposite. If you go to... Like, let's be real. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the last time I've ever been to an interview. It's been a while, but the last time I went to an interview, I can't remember them asking me what I went to the uni to study and yeah. my grade. But... They want to see your... They see your portfolio. Like, they don't even care. No, no, but at the same time... How many of us have even got to the interview stage? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I got to the interview you're right, stage. You right because of the grade. It was more because of the portfolio. No, but I do yeah, feel like, like where you went does. So originally, when you first started, yeah, you simply your university or what you studied, right, is what is helping you to get through the door. My portfolio, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. no, but as in your portfolio is based from that experience. Our portfolio is from YouTube. No, but the thing is, yeah, like, no, no, no. <laughs> the, 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 that's not fair. Because yeah. the reason I'm saying that is because the uni doesn't play a part in the quality of the work. No, that, yeah, no, that's, that's, I went to uni for people and they work but, but, the uni- like but the university helps you to get a foot in, or yeah. yourself in, in yeah, to yeah, some yeah. degree in compa- or like even in terms of like networking and stuff as well. Yeah. Like there's certain rooms that you could be in that we could never be never. in just because we don't, we don't even know who these people are. Like, <laughs> yeah. How do you even meet them? So done. I, I hear what you're saying. It doesn't mm. sound. I think it sounds e- easier because I remember, like sometimes even at uni, we'll, they'll bring like a guest speaker or mm. something, and they'll speak, and then they'll be there for five minutes after. I speak to a few people and go or do portfolio reviews, and then saw everybody's work and then just go. Yeah. Like it wasn't as beneficial 
as people make it sound. Mm. You know, when you're looking from the outside in, it always looks like, wow, right, I wish right, I had yeah, the opportunity. Yeah. When you're actually in there, when you're, you're in there, like half of the, like I can't lie. I remember going to a portfolio review, showing this guy my work, and he was just kind of like, yeah, this isn't, this is not gonna work in the industry. And I was like, what do you mean? I was like, well, like, because I think, bear in mind, mm, yeah. everybody everybody knows the standard mm, of an industry mm, mm, and mm. we know this is what they're looking for and blah, blah. But what are they looking for? Well, they're, they're looking for things that are already, like, for example. Already there. Yeah, mm, it's, it's like mm. they want the same thing. I actually, you know mm, what I'm saying? I actually, because um, with the dots, mm. when me and Obi used to go to like, a lot of their like, yeah. portfolio reviews, one guy um, from... I'm just dropping names. Media Arts Lab. Jeez. Because we did one. He's more connected than I am. Um, <laughs> no, but the way me, me and Obi said, we are going to go to any beta testing thing that the dots have yeah. so that they're familiar with us. Your so faces, that when yeah. the portfolio reviews come about, they'll be like, oh, I know you. And they're like, yeah, oh, you I know, know you. Yeah, yeah. Had, to, had to nepotize. Nah, I hear yeah, that. I but hear like, that when it came to, yeah, that um, one that we did, I remember like he looked through my work mm. and because it was probably more conceptual or more like, they're my ideas that I'm bringing to the table rather than advertising ideas. Mm. I remember he he, uh, he looked like, oh, like, so what What do you, so what do you want to do? And I was like, oh, yeah, I just want to be a designer, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Like, but what mm. do you, he couldn't oh. make sense of it because I felt mean? like he was so, he was a, very traditional mm-hmm. in like mm-hmm. the way that he has, he's worked in the industry for years and stuff as well. So of course he sees the advertising industry in a certain way. Yeah. And I didn't have an understanding of advertising at the time. What I do thought, you think it was before? I thought it was more like, okay, people just make creative concepts, but the designers can have input. Everyone has input. I didn't know it was as rigid <laughs> nah, as yeah, yeah. Yikes. copywriter, designers creative. Don't get input. But the creative isn't even a designer. They're an art director who informs yeah. the design direction, but yeah. they may not necessarily need to have the skill mm-hmm. like that. And it wasn't until working properly in the, like, in advertising that I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm the person that just really, like, Finishes, executes yeah, the execution of it of everything but people mm. other people have the ideas but i didn't want to be the person to just like give ideas i wanted to like make the stuff yeah as well but it doesn't really work like that sometimes unless like they really like you as a creative or you're like really incredible and the work is good but again the way the work is positioned you have to have ideas rather than like you can't just have a beautiful piece of work it has no, to be like, true. oh, how will this work for Nestle? How will this work in the for... advertising space? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, in advertising, but in design, obviously, if it's like a branding job, then that's different. Mm. Okay, so what you were in that space, you had a conversation with him, and he was yeah, basically and like, he was just like, we, I don't know, like, what advice to really give because <sighs> that's huge. Yeah, so man. I think, but at the same time, most of them, most of them aren't really helpful. I mm. can't lie to you. But at the same time, I did learn like, wow, well, okay, like, I'm still as good as like a lot of you guys that actually went to university. Oh yeah, as well. So like, I'm saying, like, university to your, to your point, is, yeah. that like it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean not, that you. Will. University won't make you your quality better. It it can, it can, but, but it's not guaranteed. But I'm saying, like, a lot of people's starting points, even when they get to university and their work ethic and how they approach design, mm. it's it, like you're or, you're going in there to develop something that you already have in you. Right. A lot of people mm. think that oh, because I'm going to design school or something, therefore mm. I'm gonna come out of it like top designer no it doesn't work like that like, yeah. if you don't have like a basic understanding and like like you know how some people just have a natural inclination to something that, yeah. mm. music or mm. design or yeah, uh, that's like what writing or maths or something yeah. like some people just have that mm-hmm. and if you don't have that you're going to go in there you're going to struggle that one yeah. there is just you know it's it's just, you know, it's the foundation of it all yeah. you know what I'm saying like a lot of people go to design school and come out and half of the people who went to design school aren't using the degree mm-hmm. not because they're right. not good designers even like even that aside it's just because Sometimes design just influences your way of thinking. That's true. And that's it. It yeah. doesn't have to be the career that you end up in, mm. but perhaps it might just give you a different perspective so that when you go into a new job, it might be like, okay, now you, you're you an accountant, mm. but you're coming from a design perspective. So even if you work in a space where maybe you're handling the accounts of maybe, I don't know, a director or something, you have that kind of like sympathy, I guess, or empathy right. even mm. to how the work is happening. And maybe you can have a better gauge to say, okay, maybe this is how much they actually need. Mm. They might come and say, oh, we need five thousand pounds. They're like, nah, actually, yeah. you can do that for two, yeah. or maybe you can do that for ten. Blah blah blah. So I think that that part is definitely a, like a very subjective space. Mm. But yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, th- that was my question in terms of the design and the money thing. Yeah, but I think in terms of like next spaces, I don't know. It's, it's weird because even I was on Photoshop the other day. And I saw it was that non on export bit. It was yeah. like, oh, ex- ha- learn how to export NFTs. Wait, oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. And then oh, you right. cl- on the new um, Creative Cloud update, mm. I was like, wow. <laughs> Hasn't, haven't, 
like NFTs like dipped in value, like yeah. Bitcoin, like not Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Everything. I think <laughs> everything. I saw the graph. I said, "Whoa, yeah. whoa, what has happened?" Bro, so, me, so technically, oh, now would be the right. Oh, now now would be the right time to buy, right? Uh, Te- technically, technically, yes. Interesting. Okay. But if it dips, <laughs> <laughs> if it dips well, any lower, then we're all done. <laughs> yeah, but now nah, this is probably if, the best if time. It, if it, if it, be, I might just wait. Just let it. Yeah. I haven't looked. I mean, we don't know, know if it's gonna dip it. I feel like. Where it's dipped so I mean, much, it seems like it's stable. It's kind of yeah, it's, it's going to a stable. Yeah, it's going to a stable dip. But that's I said, huh? I just yeah. saw red. It's got nine pounders. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this no, what's this for? I was about like fifteen pounds. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, so you I we had lost. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm so sorry, bro. It's okay. Jesus, <sighs> you recover, you recover. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Next year we we'll go again. Okay. Every like the economy is down <laughs> everywhere. I can't lie right. to you. The economy is down everywhere. So everybody, even if you're working, the economy is getting. West time, West time. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> but yeah, wait, I'm seeing this. Okay, so opportunity being an influencer, creative. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're on it now. Yeah, I'm reading what you you sent. So you said something about what what does it mean to be the average creative? Um, hyper visibility equals money, basically. Oh wow! Sorry, you're yeah. going re- through the message. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. In terms of the average, mm, I even need to check because. The hell did I mean? Yeah, because I think you're talking about how hyper visib- like again, yes. hyper visibility can sometimes. Right. So what um, constitutes yeah, to yeah you being a creative nowadays? Because this was inspired by the Guap Gala um the hey, award ceremony. Circle. This is what we're coming back. So again. obviously, like <laughs> you know, one thing I will say is um you know, big up Guap for creating. A mm. award ceremony, I guess, in their way to celebrate black creatives yeah. and stuff, um, who they feel maybe haven't had their fair celebration and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, things like this. Well, aren't, right, like, we'll, we'll have to call sp- like spade, 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 like to do stuff like that isn't easy, especially like it's from not. their origins in the UK they, as well. Exactly, in the National History Museum. Crazy. Yeah, and yeah, considering they started off as like a video magazine, Crazy. and that was their trajectory, and now they're doing things like this. That's Crazy. incredible. Yeah. So kudos to, to them for that. Mm-hmm. But, but oh my God. obviously, you know, I think there's been like wider conversations about a lot of different things. Yeah. And when, <laughs> the way I see it is like when you do things on behalf of Please, people, please inform me about Oh this. yeah, Burns, you kind of been out of the loop. Oh, I'm wow. not on Twitter. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. So obviously when you do things for black people, you know, feedback is good yeah. in order to grow. I think, because I think sometimes people may think because they're doing things for black people, they should just be happy with what they give them. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, there's no other alternative. And the point is that if it's, Every single major platform, especially even white owned, yeah, with, with we always, everything, we always have to have feedback. Yeah, right? but I That's think how you get better, isn't especially it? Especially for black people, mm-hmm. because like when you now throw things like this, it you can't afford to. Not saying that they've done this, but for anybody who's doing anything that's black owned, we can't afford to like exist in a bubble mm-hmm. or in our own viewpoint of how we think it will go because it affects a wider group of people that are like somewhat marginalized because this yeah. thing has kind of been birthed out of the fact that we are marginalized. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. In a sense. But um, yes, the reason why I asked like what constitutes your average creative is because obviously at the event, you had your mixture of influencers, you had your creators, you had people that were nominated for various things and like people within the industry. Mm-hmm. And I'm noticing when it comes to the creative space, mm-hmm you can have your influencers who are not creators, but you can have creators who are influencers. Mm-hmm. Say again, say again. So you can have influencers yeah. that are not creatives mm-hmm, yep. or creators, Yeah. but you can have creators or creatives that are influencers. Ooh, actually... I don't think I don't think that's possible. Yeah, yeah I think I, so. I think the creators, the creators part, mm-hmm. maybe might, that might be a bit of like a challenge. Influence, but, influencers but, are creators. Not always. I, I, yeah, they're all, they're definitely creators, but not creatives. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Because yeah. like a podcast may not be quote unquote, yeah. but it's still creative, a, a but creator. It's a, you're creating, yeah, something. yeah, yeah, cool. something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I, in terms of like, maybe if somebody wanted to be a creative, mm-hmm. um, do they now have to be somewhat? Do they have to hold a certain position of influence? Because now. It is a numbers game. So mm. there are people who may have the skill in a particular thing, mm-hmm. but because they don't have the numbers, they may not necessarily 
have access to certain opportunities. Right, right. So how best, I guess, does one, like, navigate that? I guess it de- de- depends on, like, where you want to go within, like, your creative practice and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a very messy... Um, yeah. But I think... Yeah. I just noticed, like, a lot of the time, certain people are in certain rooms. Yeah. That may not be creative, but because of who they are and their following and that kind of thing, mm-hmm. they're there. Yeah. And no, it's not like no shade to anybody. It's just literally like a observation. I think no, it is. It is yeah. literally because I think even was it last week or the week before we spoke about the whole influencer to creative director pipeline. Mm, yeah, exactly. I think, I think exactly. Ago, yeah. yeah, it's it's a similar situation. Obviously, I think in the black community, it's a bit different because <laughs> maybe they won't allow us to just jump straight up. There, so <laughs> we, we, right. we always settle for something in the middle, right? right where it's right. like. I guess you can be in, involved in the create creative space because mm-hmm. I think it's tricky. The idea of being creative hmm, is it's a subjective one because I think even us three here, what we consider creative, is completely different from mm-hmm. each other's opinion. Like I might think something's very creative, Burns might be like, I don't really get it. Yeah. Like for example, Burns doesn't. It's not a big fan of Nope. Because he just feels like, right. you know, since no, I, cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? He thinks it's cool. <laughs> so, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I think it's a subjective part. But I think when it comes to the whole <laughs> black creatives, in uh, black influencers who are in the spaces where I guess perhaps should be inhabit, inhibit, inhabited by creatives. Right. It's tricky because I also understand that there is money involved and there is numbers and there is a quota and there's sponsors. And so that's where it's like a blurry line. It's almost like when you go and watch a review of a product online, but then the product was sent by the company. Mm. It's one of those situations. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, you, you want to hope that it's going to be a very, (laughs) like, Mm. there's no, there's not going to be any bias, Mm. but can you really truly believe everything the person is saying to you right because the aim what they're doing is they're selling do you get what i'm saying like yeah yeah, yeah so it's like it's a tricky one because it's like i get it like even for the guap thing it's like obviously there's so they were sponsored by netflix mm. uh instagram and there was one other one adidas yeah adidas as well so it's like i i understand that because there's so many big eyes you also want to make sure that you can meet them like certain like you get what i'm saying so you need to like start pulling in your favors yeah, and say yeah. okay cool who can i add to this list that's mm. going to make this event even in the yeah. first place before the sponsors come in yeah you want to yeah. kind of make sure that this can bring it's, in it's, it's mm. important it's you know what i'm saying important. it is it is yeah. like I'm, I'm not saying that we don't need them because like, i remember similar conversations would happen with like the met gala for mm. example mm-hmm. like why the hell is Emma Chamberlain here? Or like, right. why is like Lisa, Liza Koshi and like certain people, or yeah. even like your James Charles's and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But I remember like, at first I was like, yeah, but then I, reality is like, they need to draw a it new audience yep. to the Met Gala and bring uh, almost like usher in the next generation. So yeah. it actually makes sense to have them because we're all talking about why they're there. And that is, and that in itself is kind of purpose, doing the job. Purpose, yeah. So like, I'm, I guess I'm, I know I'm answering a bit of the question, mm. but, in terms of like your average creative person yeah do they now need to have somewhat of a following and a platform in order to now be successful i mean you i was gonna say you answered it again yeah because we said average Mm. (laughs) (laughs) i don't want to be that guy but (laughs) yeah it's like if you're saying average then perhaps they're not they're not what is the average creative (laughs) Mm. yeah Average creative, I think, is just that that don't that wasn't advertising. Someone like me. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> damn, no, damn. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I don't I'm, think not, so. I'm not average. No, because I think an average creative is someone who perhaps might not put their self image or their their self branding in f- mm, before their design. Okay, okay. If you put your self branding before your design, I think you're you've already separated yourself from the average because the average is obviously working for you and know yeah. Average like you, just, you, you advertise yourself. Yeah, I'm not really like I can work for a company, but and still have know your own my identity. Exactly. Identity mm. So I think that's so. when you've already like departed from the average. Average, yeah. But like, because I don't think like let's be real, the Guap wasn't gonna um like they weren't gonna nominate anybody who was working under a company that was like let's say yeah, already established. Yeah, They're yeah. not gonna be like oh the best graphic designers and then pick from, people from like I don't mm. know like um big companies like but Nike or, or if you they're know, responsible for certain projects that are quite impactful why not you're right and that's that's the tricky part because mm. i but think i don't, I don't think that was the intention 
and it, and mm. I think that's okay, when fair. it gets it gets mis- I mixed think, in. I think that's why that's it? why I, ha- I can have grace on them mm. because I know they they've started their own thing mm. and they've made the criteria. <laughs> Man said we're gonna make the rules. Mad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I you're breaking the game. And I just feel like cool. Somebody else has to start up. I ain't doing mm. it. I ain't got time. <laughs> no, you're right. But yeah. it's like we need, we do need that, and that unfortunately, we need that because where when it comes to the spaces where we should be getting the, you know, the yeah, celebration, we don't like get that. that. Mm. That's why there's such a desire for that. I think I was even listening to, um, I believe it was um, HC podcast mm-hmm. with um, Chucky, and then they were speaking about how. Um, Someone like Kanye West, for example. Oh God! I'm <laughs> sorry to go there, but like how he seeks this white validation. So annoying. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like for us, is that is it that we need to to feel like oh they care about us? I mean, isn't that the same? It's the same effect. It, you know what I mean? There's no escaping. That. I was gonna say, wouldn't because us I, making I, our I, own. I think, I think, I think, I think in, in Kanye's case, though, like he's definitely like. This one is a different case. It is different, I guess, in comparison to ours. Because yeah. I feel like, like you kind of, I feel like that's where you're going, Jude. Like, mm. The way the world is, the kind of validation that you'd want from like the industry is going to default to white validation yeah. in a sense because they're you the people that yeah, are in those It's positions. the majority. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, honestly, maybe this is just me and maybe I might just be coming from a more so just like brash and ignorant perspective but we need to kind of forego that idea that we can somehow escape and create our own universe like fam this is not marvel where we can do wakanda <laughs> <laughs> no no for real because a That's lot of hilarious. people feel like oh we can we can just kind of create our own like you know Space. utopia mm. in our in, in 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 the chaos i think we can celebrate ourselves but i think we we, we have to be aware that it won't be on the same level because why yeah no like when i say level i don't mean quality our own thing, if we make our own mean, thing statistically we oh, like, yeah. <laughs> like the numbers are not yeah, even yeah, yeah. Right. No, it's okay. not yeah. possible yeah, fair, it yeah, can fair. never be possible mm. which is so or, interesting because if you look at the, even the like the amount of i guess black people who are quite famous yeah in comparison to the statistics of like it's actually mad yeah mm. and even, footballers yeah it's actually mad think about this way as well the reason why something like a bet or these Black American um, sort of award shows are so big and such. It's because there's, <laughs> there's a lot of black, black people. people. Yeah, the demographic. <laughs> so like, yeah. that's naturally it's gonna how it's gonna be. Do you know what mm. I mean? It's like, yeah. That's why I'm looking towards. If we're trying to do this, I think we should be looking towards Africa to do this. <laughs> like, you think this, the country, then, this country with pride would do? Is that? it? No, I was gonna say, is it? Would it become a thing of like we are now taking from? No, it's, I think it's, it's more so. Yes, yes, yeah, that's that's right, and yeah, also like a, right local okay, kind of like okay. so basically what you're saying is that was my because we have the tools to do it here but the numbers are there so basically doing a way where they get recognized as well same, but i can't like that way, will wash this country um, <laughs> same way that we do something like you know bt they do like our oh, international awards yeah but, nah, but i feel like actually bridging the gap because i feel like even they're doing that black star festival something in um next Charles year, Rappers, Charles Rappers, yeah. obviously they're attempting something mm. but like we don't know where it can go right but i feel like we need to because ultimately, mm. especially for the UK um, Africans, I would say, mm-hmm. we know where we come from. Mm-hmm. And a lot of us now have this desire. Well, not, I won't assume a lot of us, but there has been this there conversation a, yeah, about yeah. this desire to reconnect. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this is one way we can, this is about bringing our cultures. You know, globalization has literally changed this whole world to think the same way, to do the same things. Mm. How can we now do the same thing for us and those living in Africa as well? I, I, mean? I hear what you're saying, but it's, I feel like it goes back to the whole utopia thing. Yeah, mm. like it's but it's not utopia because no, the, like the resources are there. The resources are there, it, but it sounds very utopia because the thing is, you're making it sound like wow, it's gonna be. We're gonna it's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be that yeah. simple. <laughs> I think that's yeah, it's, that. It's, or, or, it's like not, even now, yeah. like I'm thinking to the depths of like, okay, who would be on the jury? Yeah, and would it be equal in a way that it will not? Both voices <laughs> are heard. Never, but it's then be bare also, UK never, dons. the standard of work as well. I'm not saying that like Africa has bad work. Not at not that at all. But like, there's certain biases on both sides that Design, both people language, may have. Yep. Like, oh, yeah. hmm, I don't know about that. Like, because mm-hmm. we we don't really do it like that here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no facts. And, and facts. vice versa. Facts. So I'm just like, I don't. It would be nice. It won't happen. But I don't know how that could be. And people are gonna get like crazy about having to preserve Black British identity as well. So if mm. I can't, if I that, can't, then it's never possible. This is what I'm saying. That's that's when the issue comes in. Me personally, like, <laughs> I, but I I enjoy our shows, man. Well, like black black british yeah. no there's nothing wrong with that but my my thing is like 
I just don't get why we feel like um, leaning into this. Like we, my thing is, we don't have to separate ourselves in order to get the recognition. And I get sometimes it's Are necessary. You, sometimes it's necessary, but some like half of the time, yeah, it would it would be nice not to. But the thing is that okay, you know, okay, for for what for example, mm-hmm. yeah, right now we just spoke about how the 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 I guess the spotlight is mainly on people who are individuals, yeah, in in the society, right, right, not people who are just doing great work. Because mm. let's be real, all these people are like I'm I'm trying to think if there's any person on there who isn't an individual brand in themselves. I don't think I, I like none comes like top of my head. All these people are individuals and their own brands. It's not like where well, you can be like, oh, greatest designer and we can literally go through the list and it's like, this guy worked on a campaign right, and that, right. that girl worked on a this. It's not that. It's individuals. Mm. We're awarding individuals. Mm. And that's all it is. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. But we can't call it something that, we can't, we can't use this to kind of heal our wounds. It's almost yeah, like, no, you know what I'm saying? Course, like, oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. If not, it, you're like, it, Jay-Z's it, a billionaire. It, it's not, it's not should be so, rich too. It's not, it's not solving <laughs> like the real problem yeah it's not and it, not saying it's their job to solve but no, no it's the same way like i think before leaving i was having like conversations with one work friend yeah and she was like oh like how would you expect like certain things within the industry to change if you like leave the industry wait they were putting that on you as no, a, like, no 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 but like, okay. it, was just, it, was just, it was just a conversation that we were having because like right. we I, I had conversations about like how i felt towards like i think it's realizing like oh maybe like advertising is just not for me and mm. it's looking at like on a macro scale like oh like the way this whole thing is set up yeah for black people it's a bit quiet and like she even mm. sent me like um there's this video series by some black i think there's only like nine creative i think I remember like c-level execs yeah that are creative um of chief creative officers i think only nine in in the u.s mm. not in the uk the u.s so like they were talking about what they had gone through. Bearing in mind, these guys have like Can Lion Awards, um, DNAD pencils, are decorated like yeah. with awards and stuff, Clio's, all that kind of stuff. But they had like obviously that's not gonna get you out of racism. Mm-hmm. Like to the point where someone was saying, Yeah, my team were trying to like sabotage me to like flop. And I'm thinking at your level, <laughs> your team was trying to sabotage sad, you. Sad, that's mad. And like for me, I was just like, I don't even know if I want to be a part of something like this because a lot of people will say stuff like oh yeah you know it's, we'll, it's we'll, we'll, you know. we'll get the <laughs> we'll pen for diversity george floyd we're gonna make these pledges Jesus. but the harsh reality is like the white fragility is just as mad at that level as it is on our level like change, all yeah. across the board people are cra- like people are crazy and like to fight against that seems hella long i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't really want i don't want to do that it ain't gonna yeah. be me <laughs> but at the same time i don't want to be a graphic designer i want to be a baller man no for real <laughs> But I want to be both. But like, how? Obviously, if more people left, mm. more black people, especially, how are we gonna expect change to happen in the industry if we're not there? So mm. it's almost like I, I think that helps me to realize. Okay, maybe that's not my specific fight. Okay, there may be another fight because I feel like, unfortunately, as black people, again, because of our existence, I personally feel like we can't afford to live in a bubble because of the way the world is. Mm-hmm. Like, you may personally feel like racism doesn't exist to you but the reality is it exists period yeah. so Definitely like exists, it's, what, actually... no matter what your feelings are the things are still in play yeah so we all have i feel we all have somewhat of a part to play and maybe how we can help with certain things depending on it can be different it can be really small for some really huge <laughs> if their heart is in it for other people because other people are really on it and i yeah. respect them for it but I remember like there's certain people at my old agency who wouldn't want to get involved in doing the work Mm. for certain things. And sometimes they'd be like, I'm not going to lie. I just want to go to work, do my work and go home. And I I was like, you know what? I hear it. Because our white counterparts, they're doing the same. They don't have to think about all of these things. Black History Month. (laughs) Bro. Uh, When it comes to Black History Month, yeah, um, uh, for me personally, uh, like I will get involved some at one point in my life. But for now, (laughs) right now, at one point, I can't lie. I've got nothing to teach you. Yeah, <laughs> nah, for real. Why am I teaching you? But it doesn't you have to be a teach thing. No, but oh, they definitely want that. They definitely do want yeah. that. But you tell us, do, tell us more about yeah. this. But you don't have Look to make it that. Like, <laughs> like we had conversations like ours. Like, oh yeah, we just want to focus more internally. Like the members are not necessarily yeah, like. We, we want to agency. learn about your food, your culture. 
<laughs> Do you mind bringing some jollof in? Yeah, bring some jo- jollof. Bring some yeah. bring some, jo- some, jo- bring some jollof in, and then we could give or give it a little taste. Yeah, that's hilarious. Nah, I'm yeah. not trying to do that. It's long, but at the end of the day, if no one does it, it's it's a it's like a catch twenty two. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. In this sense, but you see that whole idea because I feel like that's that's a guilt trip here. Yeah? No, no, saying no, no, that no. I'm not saying not it. you personally. Yeah, yeah. but a lot of people say I that. I get what you mean. They it's like, a way. To, but at the same time, if how else is how else are things gonna change? Because it doesn't affect these people. Do you know how, they tra- don't do you know how traumatic, do you know how traumatic nah. it is? They don't I care. <laughs> I know they don't care yeah, but I just feel like may, maybe like Burns was saying, the solution might be in Africa. I can't lie to you. <laughs> 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 it is. Burns, Burns, my, so Burns my bit, bit on something. The reason mm. why I say that is because yeah, I feel like we're stronger with, together. No, with Africa, yeah, there is you don't have to think about. Mm. waking up and saying oh I'm going to work and I need to like you know put my my work mm. voice mm. on you know what I'm saying there's there's, 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 a, there's a whole mental right. rigmarole yep. so yeah. You, yeah. yeah there's a whole mental rigmarole that you have to go through before mm. you yeah, get into do you know what I mean mm. fam it's so long it's so tiring Whereas in Africa you can wake up and you're not thinking oh, I'm black yeah <laughs> this is it you're just doing your job mm. this is it you, you know what I mean fam to the point British that you, you, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> that is that's 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 a new problem that's that's right. Right. But, but a better problem to have that it's a better, yeah, yeah. I've accepted bro, bro it's a better problem to have because mm. the thing is if you don't talk you might get away with it <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is they can smell you don't yeah. 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 Your, your, skin, your skin tone even. yeah it's like right. a bit too light for this but anyway no I feel like the the solution might be there just because the there isn't that like natural inclination to be like, okay, cool. Mm. I wake up in the morning and I feel like I have to do this. Or even the idea of Black History Month. Like, there, you, you're not having that there. And obviously there's history that's being Because history is being discussed. Yeah, and it's, and that's it's a, your day-to-day. It's a day-to-day. Mm. So I feel like that eliminates that whole thing. But yeah, no, going back to the whole guap thing, I think, yeah, they, they really did well. I can't lie to they you. They did. They did well. And I, I am proud. I am proud of them for what they did. Because I can't lie. A lot of people would have tr- have tried. Yeah, no, that like, and, that, and the that's UK, the thing. A lot of and people that's have tried. Oh, that's oh, that's triggering. Yeah, um, and, and it's flopped. It is flopped. Damn. So they did. They did really, really well. Mm. I do feel like one thing I was a bit worried or concerned about was. I feel like if if I was in there to give any kind of input, mm. was that the moment that they wrapped up the show, they should have put a feedback form out. I agree. The reason why is because a lot of people have things to say mm. naturally. It's the mm. it's one of the biggest black events in the UK right now, mm-hmm. or that just happened. If they pull out saying, "Hey, this is the first time we've ever done this. We would love your feedback. Mm. Honest. We don't care about how harsh. Blah blah. Just go through." A lot of people would have put their woes. I agree on there as opposed to because the thing is right now it's difficult to kind of make a a, a productive um, response because every if even if you do it, it will seem like you're doing it out of spite. Which is really unfortunate, though, you know? but, but because sometimes I feel like well, that's the insecurity thing, mm, yeah, and, and, yeah, and also like I feel like you have to be very aware of like the reasons why like things like that would happen. Mm. Like you have to understand like okay, people will have their feedback, mm-hmm. and that's fine because we're doing something for our people. It so of public, course, if it's yeah. for the people, yeah. we need the feedback of the people. But unfortunately if things like that do happen, mm-hmm. I sometimes feel like maybe it's because the people that have taken on this responsibility haven't maybe, mm-hmm. trying to be careful with my words, haven't maybe done the work in order to like, or maybe just haven't, I don't know, grown in certain areas or aren't as aware of like the realities of what's they haven't come them. to like full or, or the understand, actually let me rephrase, mm-hmm. aren't, re- don't really understand the full responsibilities of the things that they are doing. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Because it's almost like, Sometimes there some people when they do things like this, yeah, have the notion of you should be grateful. Yeah. That we yeah. even so put something stop, like this stop on. Mm-hmm. And just just be grateful. Mm. Yeah. But then maybe you don't have the self awareness to be like, oh no, but this is a this is if something it, for, if it's for them. Yeah, then... it's, it's bigger than us. Mm-hmm. And we need to make sure in order for that, this that to be long lasting and though. stuff like that. And I think that's yeah. why it makes it hard to move progress forward. Because we're always kind of like anytime someone says you could have done this better. Scared of feedback, innit? Mm. But I, I do feel that even the feedback now, even how people are giving feedback at the moment is a bit reckless. People want retweets, man. I can't lie to you. I, I respect it. No, people are reckless. But the thing is, but, people are reckless. That is not, yeah. It's mm. more so on the beef thing. It's not on a... <laughs> okay, I, I, <laughs> do you I, I, mean? I, I hear so you think about that, this I hear so that. You've, done, you've done an event ah. now and somebody's come to you saying, so why did you do this? 
don't ever like if the couple no, 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 don't, don't ever, ever. Like, it's not constant on that tone. Yeah. Mm. Of course you're gonna be apprehensive. You're yeah. gonna be like, no, what are you talking? and you're gonna be defensive. You're gonna be yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So I feel like people have to change how they also give the feedback. I agree. People are not gonna change. But though. they're not. But the, that, yeah. that's why, like mm. I say, unfortunately, because if you're an organization that have done something like that, mm. I feel like you've kind of put yourself in a position where it's public. automatically you have to be the bigger person. Yep, yep, yep. Like, whether you like it or not, you have to take the feedback. A similar thing happened with MOBOs, like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with certain things that they went through and like people were commenting and it got to a point where they were responding back yeah, in a certain that's, that's tone that was a bit bad. like, oh guys, mm-hmm. don't do that, don't do that. Yep. Remember you're an organization, this is a yep. singular person. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But again, if you're doing something on behalf of others, you have to really think about it. It has deeply. to be through and through. And I think... That's the thing sometimes. People's intentions can be good, but it doesn't necessarily mean that what they are doing at times are good mm-hmm. or aren't are the best thing. The best, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you like heavy is the head, you know, that that wears the crown. I know we say this a lot, but like there's so much responsibility that comes to th- with this and so much sacrifice mm. that comes with a role like that that you really have to know, cool, this is what I'm like agreeing to do. Agreed. I yeah. have to really make sure that. I'm on top of things because mm-hmm. it doesn't <laughs> what you may think it will be today can be something completely different like in 10 years time yep 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 and stuff it's just a very I don't know sometimes I, I worry that people that have good intentions of wanting to do things like this don't think about it all the way through I think they think about I remember when everybody wanted to make a directory during mm, COVID. yeah yeah so I think it's a similar that, thing that bust me though Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No, it busts everybody. <laughs> everybody was getting connections, but I think yeah. that's the thing: people don't have the. Yeah, that don't exist no more, though. People, nah, mm, besides, yeah, yeah. you have cancelled the membership. But th- th- and I think that's the problem. Is like like Mike was saying: people think about the initial idea and then they go off the whim and the excitement of like, wow, I'm gonna yeah, be the first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be the first. I'm gonna be the first. I'm gonna be the first. Mm, but they don't realize they, they got to maintain that. I can't lie. They realize the responsibility and they're like, oh, gross, that's one nah. big one, one of the biggest issues in the black community. I is, agree. Is I, that th- I think that's the thing. to be the first. Yeah, yeah, and maybe like. Wanting to be the face of, yeah, of it as a well. New thing, because yeah. there were multiple people that were doing this directory thing. Mm-hmm. And I remember like people would be like, Why don't why doesn't everyone just come together and, and just make one? Make, make, it, one. make nope. one. Everybody wanted to be like the thing that mm. people were trying to make apps. I remember people were trying yeah, to make yeah. uh, websites. websites. And, and the, and the you know, th- you know what's so funny? The thing is, is that especially in when we see on a bigger level, a lot of these companies that are starting up, they are at least at a quality level. Before, and then competition comes in. Yep. Mm. What we're doing now, we're st- everyone's doing competition at right, like starting right, level. Right, Everybody, right, yeah, startup right. competition. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody's even oh, learn. Wow. Nobody's even, and the problem we're not learning from each other. Mm, so, okay. if, so yeah. actually, as a company, you're meant to learn from somebody else's mistakes. So mm. You're meant to, so for example, um, solve the issues, yeah, solve the problems. Let's yeah. think about um, so a great example would be like Uber. Mm-hmm. Uber for a while was the only company that was running cabs. Yep. That you can just from your app. From yeah. Bolt came in, Free mm. Now came in. And they thought of new ways mm. to actually, so for example, like discount codes. Yeah. Or like just different, like even, um, you can, I think Bolt were the first to actually do the ad stop. Oh, yeah, okay. And then Uber obviously took that. But that yeah, way. yeah, yeah. And that's how you go as a business. You need mm-hmm. competition. But what will happen, what's happening now is that people are starting businesses at a starter level. Oh, I see that. I just start that as well. Yeah. But they're never learning from that. This, how can we take, 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 but well, actually, how Facts. can we learn together? Yeah. Do you get me? I'm sure these men at Uber and Free Now and Bolt, are probably in the same meetings. Nah, <laughs> mm. they're, they're probably they're probably doing like hot that, companies and facts. stuff. Yeah, but I think that's the thing. If if we can get out of that space of like, okay, cool, I want to be the first, but instead of thinking about that, it's like I want to ch- like genuinely think about how this can live on in the next few years. Yeah, hence why I'm very very like heavy on. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Um, this is why hence why I'm very heavy on getting ahead of the the feedback. Mm, like making mm-hmm, sure mm-hmm. that you're like anticipating yeah yeah and ready for it yeah because the yeah. thing is like i'm sorry if you're if you're a public if you're doing something that's public you need to be very like ready for the feedback you shouldn't even want it no facts yeah, you, know you should be, you should be like you wow we mm. did our thing and in-house we know that there's issues here yeah. and there and obviously this might have gone this we should have done that better oh, these people didn't come on time how can we rectify these things inside but also mm. people might have seen things that we didn't see Mm-hmm. From the outside, people who might have like a lot of people were talking about how they got invited. Um, yeah, or, they didn't could they didn't want to come or they mm, couldn't make it mm. and the whole picture or, situation. Yeah, or and, even like 
one thing somebody may raise a very good point like even the people that were invited have been on previous covers or mm. even um you know how they have like their um which is a really amazing thing that they did like their 30 their version of their 20 under 20 or 30 under 30 oh yes 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 um or creative people the, 30 creative the year, people. yearbook thing yeah like how they had that so like were those people invited mm. or the people for, on their most recent cover because i know they did like with a young with a young artist yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of artists yep. on one cover look really great were yeah. they invited? So I think, yeah. imagine like you've been involved and in that community, but you were, but then invited. you weren't invited to something like this. It can then make people within that community possibly feel like, I was, being so used. I was, was I being used or yeah, what, am I not, am I not as important enough? Or if we're being real, is it because I don't have that much clout in comparison yeah. to others? And I think that's the way they, they, they may not have even thought of it like that. They were just like, oh, these are the people that we just had in mind. Maybe they even yeah. forgot. Naturally, people forget things. I, but you can't yeah. afford, you have to be very careful because you're, especially maybe you don't realize that you are building such a strong network mm -hmm. of people or it's larger than you realize. And you're like, oh, okay, there's all of these different people that yeah. I have to think about. It's, it's it's a result. It's like a consequence of like, okay, mm. I buy a car. Yes. It, yeah, it yeah. gives out gas. And now I have to think about emissions. Mm. It's like, mm. there's always like a, you know, an issue with a solution. Like you, right. you were trying to solve something. But I think with solving it, it also creates more problems as yeah, well. Yeah, I think you know? I think ultimately the issue that I'm seeing here is that we've assumed that there's something in terms of oh, like that's... we've put an expectation on them. Yes, right. So the reason why I say that is that, and of course, mm. yeah, of course. But like for example, we could start this. Okay, we've started this podcast. Mm. Yeah, people have expectation of us. Mm -hmm. Let's say, God forbid, but in the future mm -hmm. we just lose our values as like. Creatives, <laughs> we all go conservative. For <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. Sure. laughs> no, let's let's say for example, like we start talking to like all these different celebrities, and mm -hmm. like mm. now, like I'm um, Jake says one bar saying that ah, oh, I'm so rich now that my bars don't even relate. Mm. Dang. Like, can't, can't wait. Like, <laughs> 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 like our content is now just like. It's right, the, we're talking about like twenty k's, eighteen k, and now we're talking about like millions. The jet that we're on, like, do you <laughs> know what I mean, like it's yeah. like. That's his natural progression of life. And I feel like, unfortunately, unfortunately, when people's visions get bigger and then opportunities start to rise, mm. sometimes you have to redirect. Yeah, oh, but, but... It's not the same. But no, but... No, but the thing is... No, no, sometimes you have to redirect. This, this, what, but, what about if they wanted this idea but, from the start when it may, started? Maybe. But then again, <laughs> that would speak to their... in. I don't want to say integrity, but I'll use the word yeah. integrity for now. Like, that will speak to more them and their character and their motives behind why they started what they started. Because... Mm -hmm. It, again, if you are going to initially pitch something as a thing, I'm just saying this in general, not necessarily with Guap, but like, well, a lot, there's been a lot of organizations that have said they're for the people. We've yeah. spoken about this before, but then really and truly, Black Lives not Matter. For, wow. Hmm. That's a yeah, conversation. They say they're for the people and they will use, again, because mm. if you think about our community, we are marginalized. We are, uh, there's certain things in place. So, like, we are looking also for people to help or who's willing to pick up that mantle to help and assist. Yeah. So when somebody turns around and says, yeah, I'm going to be that person. Not by force. No one forced no you. One no forced one forced you. you. You're the one that said. Yeah, no one forced you. So of course, we're naturally going to put a lot of stuff on you. But then I feel like it's that organization's job to clarify what they can and can't do. Yeah. Because maybe you, sometimes... You feel that organizations have not done that well? Probably not. Okay. Wait, wait, are you saying this particular um, organization or just organizations in general? Like, in general, that in general. claim to, I, like I, yeah, I can't. Nah, nah, they, they, they haven't done. So, what, what, done. what is the solution? To listen, I think so. Yeah, like so do you get what I'm do, saying? Do you it's not to feel listen. Like they have like, to be honest, I don't know. It's true. Maybe they don't have like a, a board of like, almost like stakeholders that can actually listen like their But then those stakeholders no, but as in, where are they coming from? Because I was gonna say that. <laughs> no, but <laughs> but stake, stakeholders that actually represent the core and the realistic audience. Nah, so for example not no, no 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 they're meant to so what no, I'm trying to say is that okay, stakeholders. Because I'm being, thinking stakeholders being like, if that money. Those are the people who are putting no, 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 money no, no. in there. No, no, no. They hold a the stake. When I mean <laughs> when I mean stakeholders, I mean okay. Talking from the so like a parents parent and governors board kind of like yeah you're thinking setup. of like a board I'm, room. I'm not gonna I'm and thinking I'm, boardroom no I'm yeah, think, yeah. I'm thinking more so like so stakeholders in um, let's say a guap for example uh -huh. would be indie artists the designer that works in advertising mm -hmm. 
the massive influencer that like, is different pockets that they influence. Would you is that stakeholders or I just a review board? Yeah, no, I stake, like stakeholders board is that the people that are that your organization or your community affects. Right. Okay, fair enough. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so basically, okay. you have reaching out to those people that... Is that is, so it's called stakeholders? So you're the money man. So, so yeah. shareholders are also owning money. Okay, so stakeholders Stakeholders are people, is right. people that have interest. Is, is, okay, wow, in, invested. Do you know what I mean? So gotcha, it's like gotcha, gotcha. It's people that... Wow, so education. Like, <laughs> sweet. It's like the indie artist mm-hmm. or you got the, the designer or mm-hmm. you got the influencer mm-hmm. right, right, right. or you got the photographer mm-hmm. or the coming up photographer. Like, so basically having people from different pockets of society right. that are influenced like are influenced by what you do as an organization mm, okay. mm. and then speaking. So it's almost like a town hall, but like mm. right. hearing from the different people rather than hearing from one kind of people. Yeah. Right. That's the problem that we're having. Yeah. Because now what we're seeing is just the influencer. Mm. Or your friends. You, friends. Who won't give you the like, at yeah. times. But you're not seeing the people that actually have benefited from, because mm. the thing is, is a platform that has helped a lot of creatives. Yeah. So when they're not actually being able to... That's like not a Bob, diverse. Like a, like a Bob from Norwich. Yeah. He's yeah. in London. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I, feel yeah. Like, I think the solution is to create like a, a community, a forum of people that are going to be real and honest and will help to grow your... Because it actually helps to grow. Your, when you diversify yeah, of course. your business, naturally mm. it will grow. It will become better because actually... You're hearing the people's demands, like we said. We're listening to people. You're mm-hmm. hearing them, and actually, you're actually in what they've what they've said. Yeah. So I think ultimately, is really listening to the people. If you don't listen to the people, your longevity as a as a business probably will die out. Yeah, I think mm. it's the thing that's killed a lot of like companies in the yeah. especially in the UK. No, mm. I, I pray that it doesn't. I, I really pray that. No, of course. Like a, I don't think this is the. I don't, I don't think it will be like this. this is not nah, the. Never, on, I feel like it's onwards and upwards for them, which is great. Yeah. But there's a lot to learn. I think in this period yeah because they do and it, even said yeah. that like about like them i guess when you're growing your values might be changing right so sometimes that could happen and, uh, for me that's, I, I don't have no problem with that yeah i think i you've just got, have you've to got, you've got, clear. you've got you've got you've got but yes you have to make it clear you have to make mm. it clear that's that's the problem because what's gonna happen is that as you grow people you know that like, it always happens with artists for example yeah. Yeah. artists will grow up grow up and um, sort of their sound will change and mm. like, oh, i miss the old yeah i, I wish i had but they're in a new space now. What about... It? So, I think another example is that Heady One, for example, when he released that um, album with Fred again. Yeah, Even but... Though, no, that, that, was, that was awful. That was awful. Okay, okay, okay. I <laughs> no. However, okay. he could do whatever he wants to do because he, no, he's course, an artist. Yeah. Same as like, the Storms example. Like, sometimes on his... He would do, I want to sing. I want to do this. Some people will hate it. That's cool, but right. he... But- as wants an artist, to do what that's he wants to. Thing, yeah. Yes, and he has clearly said, "I want to explore mm. different sounds." But, you see that, yeah. but yeah, I, I was gonna say, an artist and an organization are two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's still, but still, but s- similar. And I, I hear this can same kind of pivot in a different direction. But the quality has to stay. That's my thing. Oh, it's yeah. cool yeah, if yeah, you want to go and yeah. sing. If you want to even go and do chicka chicka chicka, <laughs> go and do it. That's up to you. But the quality has to stay. If yeah. somebody wants to sing, he can sing. If he's singing good, no one's gonna be like. They're gonna be like, I don't like it, but he's singing. Mm. But you can't sing. Yeah, so so yeah. no one's gonna be like, like you know, with the Fred Again project, project where it's like, okay, it's objectively someone will be like, mm, okay, this wasn't the great. There was project. there's one there's song one that song was... that was hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. So there was one song that was hard. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a single as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was hard. Yeah, but everything else is kind of like okay, maybe not. Yeah, but yeah. I think it, if with the organizations, if they can objectively grow, like. I don't have a problem if they grow and they get big to the point where now they might not be that in touch with the indie artists mm. like they are right now. That's cool. I get it. But, Such we, but that's that's and that's where you find the problems because mm. we have associated as as indie emerging creatives but, but, kind of but organization. That's because that's how they started as well. Yeah, and I think that's why it's hard for us to be like, rah, this is not really what we thought. If they grow, if they grow with them, I won't complain. But also, if, if they you grow get, with the indie artists, you can just get more people in your team that have their ears to the ground because that's what other organizations yeah. do. But the anyway. thing is, yes, I, I, f- yes. I feel like, fortunately for them, they're at early stage, so they can do that. But mm. it's just about recruitment. The recruitment true, stages in, in the next mm-hmm. two, three years is going to be very crucial because if if they miss that gap, then that's where, and again, Guap have done it to a level now where they're very, very good. Mm. So now what's going to happen is that another organization is going to rise up. And learn from what they did and try and make it better. Yeah, and that's how you do business. That's how you do business. Yeah, not, yeah. Not the directory, run it for two months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the out, you know what I mean. Yeah. But now we actually have a model of go up like, okay, they did mm. this. They, yep, yep, yep. Maybe another organization might be like, okay, I actually want to create an um an award show for people that you know. Like obviously, we had Noah on here where she she gave her perspective on it, and I think it was very valid. 
And I think also, like, you may get another organisation that may be like, oh, no, actually, no, we want it to be for only these emerging creatives. Mm, mm-hmm. Like, stars, mm. stars, you know, like, they do this thing of, like, I don't watch NBA, but I think they do, like, this draft thing where, yeah, basically, like, they get people from, like, the younger teams or whatever yeah. to basically come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there should be something like that. Where it's like there's, see, ne- there's never going to be a company that just does that though. I know, but like yeah. a similar version where it's like you're just seeing the rising stars. In so like, that and place. you know, in America they have the XXL freshman list, that exactly. kind of thing. Yes, we. I get it. That's that's what and we there need. are things like that in the industry. Yeah, even the NS, the NS, maybe not the NS accessible. list. Because what what yeah, like was, that, that's what people will say. DNA, D, new blood is. Yeah, yeah. but what yeah. Noko was saying was that those people that have been awarded, and I, I that's what I agreed with her. Those people that have been awarded and have been given these awards will never get those awards. I in. agree. I so agree with that. Yeah. We, what what's happening now is that <laughs> we'll see. what's happening now? We're, cre- we're creating maybe in this, a couple of years' time. We'll see. Or not at the moment. We're creating a space right now that we're in, mm. which is our own world of black. But we creatives. make the rules and yeah. Yes. Of course. So now what's happened is that what happens now now at the Oscars, at like the BAFTA. Now it's almost yeah, like we need that's kind of sad. No, but it's, it's, it's reality now. Now we need something that is like under that. But Guap is general. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it's like it's I, not. No, I, I, I wouldn't even. It's not I, anymore. I get what you, you, like, I get what you mean. Think about this way: mean. in in let's say in the Western white world, yeah, the Oscar, the Baftas, these are the the creative events. I wouldn't that are say like, it's an Oscar or Bath. Yeah, no, because that's not specific. Because that's and plus that's like it's more gen- the, gen- the people that are winning those awards. <laughs> Like, like they're very <laughs> much no, no. They're very much like way years into the game, or like that opportunity yeah, that that yeah. award will give you can literally like change like the directory of your life. Not like no shade to like go up or anything like that, but like I feel like they're different. But I feel like it's one of the awards that we have at the moment that's quite. It's very noti- like it's a noticeable achievement and a you big can add deal. Add to your CV now. Yeah. And I feel like within the industry, <laughs> I feel like within like Black British yeah. networks. If they hear that you've got that, they'll be like, okay, this is someone. Yep, yep. yep. Like you are recognized or, or, in between. Let's, okay, or even rephrase. They're maybe in the early stages of becoming they're an institution. Early, it's a, it's like, a first year like that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's very possible. I think they're going to become a mobile level. No, I agree. And I mm. think maybe mobile might be the best example because Oscars, I think for me anyway, is very specific to movies. Right. I'm um, just, I'm just as, as an example. As no, you're, you're right. I, mean, I, think, I think our uh, space right now, yeah. that is like mobile is, I think, at the moment, and like. Um, GRM, GRM mm. yeah. is at the pinnacle awards in our yeah. cultural community. Right. Yeah, WAP is now coming. I feel right, like there right, may yeah, be another yeah. one that will. There's probably art of. There probably gonna be loads that will come. Oh, there, there are. Yeah, so I'm saying that this there's gonna be another stage. So I feel like we're in a a bubble of awards in our community. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I I just I just hope that maybe this is a conversation for another episode or something, but mm. that we don't get caught up in the same thing because obviously WAP has done that. Um, Mobiles have done that and GRM have done that where they try to award multiple um, I guess art Right forms. and it's not as specific and, and, and it doesn't work that well right. it's, as from history has shown so perhaps maybe going forward it would be great to kind of make it very more like Oscars or specified, specified where people can actually take their time and expand into a particular so then mm. when you say oh maybe newcomers we can actually say newcomers of this particular like space, mm. not just yeah, newcomers just of in the, general. The, the whole creative. So man, space. man can be in the arts, man could be in drama, dance, and it's like it's too vague. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. That just becomes a numbers num- numbers game at that point. It's like yeah, who's yeah. the most popular, right? Thanks, guys, for tuning in to today's episode of Rule of Thirds. Feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag Rule of Thirds Pod. And for more from us, follow us on Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod or our personal accounts. For myself, Burns, Burns J and R, Mike at underscore man like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.